the real meaning of persona as a mask. Like the ones Albin were on the ancient stage of ancient Rome in Greek. Society can be seen like one set ergo strategy. We have knights that we call in this time and age military man. We have politicians, presidents. In old times, we called them maybe princes, kings. We have CEOs of businesses, built a billion businesses. Are we most likely? In the Middle Ages, cults are Pope, and other religions, lords. But maybe also some kings and queens. We have the army, the lower class of the army, called the police force. They are hold the peasants or the citizens of this system in control. And are enforce the laws made by the elitists of the society. How, of course, always been in the favor of the elitists, the ones who make them up. Even if the People who make the laws claim that there are fair game for anybody. There can be cognitive dissonance. There can be information bias. People are prone to that. Particularly after I have interest in her own. We're in our own businesses. Our society, most likely, if you live in a society of democracy, where you can vote for your puppet master, your presidents, your Hold them a thought. Your speaker. Your king or queen or how we want to call that kind of person. What these people do in order to get elected uh, and to get money for their get money for their election campaigns is they go to businesses and they will support these businesses and when they are elected they will promote these businesses and will promote the interests in the businesses where they have lobbied with before their election Because that's the part of the deal. Therefore, these politicians are in reality a marketeers. Maybe not 100%, because there are many different businesses that support, and where they have lobbied with, and where they're support in return of the support these politicians try to let the business uh, go the best out of the scenario 
that's which in majority of uh, democratic societies they now listen to the people who are the ones that claim to speak for but in reality they support the small group of businesses they go into the sea with on the ship in their group just like in America the of the Democrat of the Republicans uh, they are all go most of the time uh, lobbying with oil uh, with big agriculture and with the gun lobbying in industries like those that's the reason that they support these businesses also and that they make sometimes ridiculous claims to support their businesses they don't do this only in America if you are play attention with attention to the societies of other countries you say that are also playing a kind of game and if you want to win the game you have to know how to play the game to play your role in the society or the role you want to play in this very big um, maybe also a bit complex and extremely hierarchy system we have on the bottom one we have the people how are the worker class by the worker class some in all the times the animals were the lowest class of the worker class the farm animals that's um, the animals that plow the lands so that the vegetables can grow and where they can then put the potatoes in the ground the animals were uh, historically the lowest class of the society the slave of the society how we built our societies on without the work of these animals our society maybe would also without also our poetry in our books we not can have one society like we have without these animals so we have to respect them and give some honest respect for our these animals by not treating them like objects in this time and age animals don't have to be our slaves for the trucking of the cars on wheels we have not and I repeat we have not to use this beans any time and more we have tractors now that don't cost slavery but we have not to forget to honor these animals in the same way that we are respecting the workers that are from our class second also if you want to make more videos about this specific topic put it in the comments right let us go to the next setting of society then we have the people of workers of the society the 
plumbers, um, the farmers, the plant farmers, how are the produce the fruits and the vegetables for all living beings? We must know. Historically, meat, dairy and eggs was run privileged food. There was the food for the kings and queens. The, the general uh, people of the farms were not farmers of animals. They were plant farmers. Just like today. Because if we have not all that food, the animals, um, if we have not farms where they can feed, uh, can harvest the food of the, or the animals, then we have not animal slavery or husbandry. And if you want to know why I used the term slavery, check my video. Animal versus human slavery, and in the description below. Yep, go to the next. Then we have the peasants. The peasants were the farmers actually most of the time. They were poor. They are sometimes were undefeated because the el more elitist classes of society. Take them away, there, take the food away, uh, and because they want to have so much percent of the food that people uh, produce, so that they can eat the rich food that give people cancer and diabetes. These are the top fifteen causes the f of death, the f top 15 reasons Americans die. Hmm? And a plant-based diet can help prevent nearly all of them, can help treat more than half of them, right? and in some cases even reverse the progression of disease, including our top three killers. Today, because today anybody eats in the Western world at least the majority into the rich, rich, elitist diet. Think for, think for a chance, people. The rich people of the Middle Ages eat the same kind of diet the majority of Americans eat, and the majority of uh, people in the rich part of Europe. High in animal food, in animal body parts and secretions. There are the nights that hold the society in their place and hold the people of the of the villagers and, and the peasants in uh, under control and enforce their laws of the kings and queens of that specific country or land. Today we have the police force for that kind of job. I want to also to get themselves a noble image. Just like the kings and just like the knights of the Middle Age. The lower knights and the higher knights. The military is just as, as that. Maybe there are a little bit more aggressive the military of today than it was in the Middle Age, but there are still a lot of similarities. They're both, uh, when it comes to the police and some of the classes of the knights, uh, enforce the law of the land, of the lord, the king, the queen, emperor, sultan, maharaja in Indian cultures, and king. You can say that just like with the majority of organized religion, society works like a pyramid. With the largest group on the bottom, then we have the kind of worker class, who are a little bit richer, or painters. Uh, then you have the armed force. The armed force, uh, you can say the police, the military, 
then we after older times then you'll get the religion scholars so today we have a combination in some countries of religious scholars and lawyers and judges that's also on that list then we have the kings and queens of the middle ages in this time and age there are called sales and under the sales of businesses there are the politicians there's if you know how the system will in essence how society systems work you see that there is not so much change in societies of today than there was in societies of some hundred years ago or even thousand years ago there's still one hierarchy and there is still people who want to get rich from the labor of others or from exploitation of groups who not can speak for themselves or are just cannot speak our language if it comes to animals for example with police dogs you can say that that is a kind of slavery because these dogs are also being broken uh, being trained and being put in danger and when put in houses where one police expect that there is a criminal before the police go in the house and sometimes also if there are 100% sure that the dog will shoot the police still let the dog in first or in so that their dog can be killed and so it is a kind of slavery as a kind of exploitation by the strong by, from strong by the weak exploitation is not okay dogs are not here to make life easier or more happy for police force police know what I do they know and the majority of them <coughs> you know uh, I don't know what I do. There, in, there are the law enforcement agencies. Laws are not equal to justice. So if you, if you want to make this world a better place, you not can do that when you are a police force. Simple cannot if you are doing your work good. Because police force main focus is enforcing the law and letting the law uh, be enforced because that's how their masters want that they act can you follow me still i hope there is of course a reason why the elites not want to know the majority of the people how the system truly works the majority of you also don't want to uh, the majority of the banks also don't want to know as you know how exactly the money system works technically uh, when you yes you have five people one of the people who have one dollar and the dollar go to the next person then the bank creates another dollar then they go to the next person and then the bank creates an, again another dollar and then another dollar and then when this but first one you have five extra dollars these dollars are not truly exist these are only uh, credit only illusional money that been made uh, in numbers there are no um, there is no currency to back this up this is a great illusion if you want to know more about the money system uh, I can make a video of it and you can put it in the description or you can watch the video of um, Malone what's one is a capitalist but 
actually in the, one of the videos uh, being called Hidden Secrets of Morning, um, he says some pretty interesting things. And he plays actually a little bit the grass of the <laughs> of his own movement. <laughs> Of the bankers, actually, yeah, he's another banker. He's an investor, investor in gold. Um, what I always say: if you want to defeat your enemies, you also have to a little bit learn to think like one. Not that you become one, but that you understand the way of the working of the system, uh, so that you can effectively sabotage them in their own game. If you understand what I mean, I know. Some of you find it crazy, and some of you are maybe not thinking capitalism is something uh, indirectly similar to slavery, at least the mindset is. Check my video about capitalism, I have many, uh, something about four videos about that, and where I think it is an inherent in in uh, fundamental. Um, corrupt system. The philosophy of capitalism in its, in its essence is not so fine. Capitalism means exploiting. Capitalism is one system of systematic exploitation. It works like a blood sucker. It needs some blood to suck, no matter if it's in the power of people or the rainforest. And it will not create equality for anybody. Cap systems like capitalism, where you have one hierarchy, will not uh, create um, equality.